Now this runs a little bit length here, but here we go, we'll get there. All right, so we're gonna prove this trig identity that the left side of the equation is equal to the right. I'm going to start by rewriting everything. So I'm gonna rewrite the top as cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta over one plus two sine theta cosine theta. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a trick here. Uh, on the bot, well, on the top, I'm gonna go ahead and split this up into cosine theta plus sine theta, and then cosine theta minus sine theta. Then on the bottom, I can turn this one into a cosine squared theta, and then put this in the middle term to sine theta, cosine theta plus sine squ squared theta. Rewrite this again. So on the top, I got cosine theta plus sine theta, cosine theta minus sine theta. And on the bottom, uh, we're going to have cosine theta plus sine theta, cosine theta plus sine theta. So these terms cancel out. And we're left with cosine theta minus sine theta and cosine theta plus sine theta. Now looking at these and looking at what we have here on the left side, um, we're probably going to divide through here by 1 over sine theta, or multiply through by 1 over sine theta. So we're going to get sine theta over sine theta, minus sine theta over sine theta, all over cosine theta over sine theta, plus sine theta over sine theta. So this simply becomes cotangent theta minus one over cotangent theta plus one. That's it, we solved it.